There had been some talk of Martin Bacoli versus Jelly Zhang, potentially Bacoli versus Parker, but now it's looking like it could be Martin Bacoli versus Ajit Kabayel because that fight has now been ordered by the IBF. If we have a look at the uh, heavyweight rankings here, you look at the IBF rankings, they haven't yet been updated after AJ lost to Dubois, as far as I'm aware. So forget about AJ being at number three. The IBF have ordered number four and number five, who might be number one and number two now. Ajit Kabayel against uh, Bacoli, that's been ordered. You've got Kabayel, who has been a dark horse during Riyadh season. You know, he's come through and beat the likes of Arslebek Matmadov, who was a massive guy, big puncher, took his soul. And he also beat Frank Sanchez, a very talented, fast, athletic Cuban. Although I do have to say that Sanchez appeared to be injured in that fight, appeared to have some type of knee or leg injury. Nevertheless, Caballero is coming off good wins. He's been taking people's unbeaten records, going up against Martin Bacoli. Could it be the Michael Hunter fight all over again? for Martin Bacoli. Is Ajit Kabayel that guy? Or will Martin Bacoli be too much for him? We will see. And hopefully that fight does happen. Hopefully it does land on the undercard of uh, Usyk Fury 2, because that's a really interesting one. And it's needed, as far as I'm concerned, on that undercard. It would bolster the undercard significantly, because right now it's looking a little thin. Let's be real. So as you can see here, headline Martin Bacoli versus Kabayel in play for December, IBF Eliminator. And here we've got a quote from Ben Shalom. He was being interviewed by Sky Sports. He said, I think the only way we get it, as in a world title fight for Martin Bacoli, is by forcing it to happen. I don't think anyone that's got a world title would want to risk it against Martin Bacoli. He's number one with the WBA and in the top five with every sanctioning body. Soon there'll be nowhere to hide. It's a fight we've been talking about for some time. For me, the two most avoided heavyweights in the world. Now he's talking about Bacoli versus Caballel. The IBF are notorious for enforcing their mandatories, so the best one for us to be involved in. We really fancy that fight. We're hoping to get it done for this year in December. We'll see what happens.